there folks, it's Unchained Skid. We are getting ready to go on the big adventure to Quebec and to Nova Scotia. So uh, here we are on the 23rd of August and we're supposed to depart tomorrow. So what I think I'll do this time as opposed to making a little video here is I'll take a little bit of footage as we uh, go along uh, out the front of the van and give you some of the uh, landscapes as we go. Uh, not gonna lie, it's uh, quite an adventure coming up, but it wouldn't be an adventure unless there was some risk and an uncertain outcome. So let's get to it. I'll uh, put some stuff in here and uh, try and post it on route. All right, guys, wish me luck. We'll uh, talk to you soon. Take care. Bye. All right, we are the 24th of August and we're leaving Edmonton. Well, we're, we're still in Edmonton, but we're leaving Edmonton. All right, talk to you in a bit. Here's some uh, rolling prairie just coming up to Lloydminster, Lloydminster, Alberta slash Saskatchewan. All right, you're in the middle of the Saskatchewan prairie just past Saskatoon en route to Yorkton, complete with the train and everything. So there you go. We're getting there. Yep. Flat, flat prairies. See ya. Okay, here we are. Uh, sun's about to go down, so we're not going to get much good footage here. But we are going into Manitoba, as you can see. So we've been traveling across the prairies here for hours. Like, nine. Anyway, uh, probably about three more hours to Winnipeg, and then it'll be another hour after that till we're done with the prairies. But we'll stop in Winnipeg for tonight. Uh, almost getting there. We have lost battery pack number two. There's a loose wire back there, but thankfully we still have battery pack number one, as far as I know. Uh, that's good. That's what happens. All right. We'll talk to you next. Well, good morning. Broadway and Main in uh, Winnipeg trying to get out of here. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. Holy cow, there's lots of construction, morning traffic, but we're going next. So here we are at the transition. Uh, we are just moving out of the prairies into the Canadian Shield. You can see the trees are growing there. Yeah, uh, this is about, uh, let's see, uh, about 40k uh, to the east of Winnipeg. So there you go. No more prairies. Okay, next. Let's give you a quick little look here. <clears throat> We're uh, just coming up kind of on Kenora. If you look to either side of the road there, you see that rock. That's that bedrock granite. That's the Canadian Shield. We are deep in the middle of it. That is the uh, basis of the whole North American continent sticking up through here. And this place is really hard to build roads and railroads through. Ask them uh, back in 1870 what it was like trying to put stuff through here. Anyway, just to give you a quick look, there's your Canadian Shield right there. Okay, next. Well, we're just going around Thunder Bay now. The, still in the middle of the Canadian Shield. We're gonna have lots more hours of shield left yet, more than the prairies even. Uh, it also means that we are now on the shores of Lake Superior, so we've reached the Great Lakes. Not that you can see them from here, because we're going around Thunder Bay. All right, next. All right, there is uh, Lake Superior right there, so you can't see it. So there you go. All right, glad, uh, glad we could see that. Next. It's kind of interesting, we're at uh, Nipigon and uh, we're going to be heading up uh, way deep into the uh, Canadian Shield here in northern Ontario and just right beside uh, an offshoot of Lake Superior here. Just uh, give you a little view. Alright, next. Good morning. <clears throat> Welcome to the middle of the Canadian Shield, northern Ontario. We are, <clears throat> excuse me, we are just about halfway. There you go. Another sunrise foggy. Had to stop last night because it was raining and night and animals all over the road. So time to take a break. All right, next. Radiation fog forms when you have a clear night and the ground cools off fast because it radiates to space. And the ground layer of air right next to it is moist and the all the fog precipitates out and stays around and it won't go away until it finally gets enough heat from the sun to burn away. Uh, especially happens if you got very, very calm conditions. And that's what we're driving in right now. Yay. Next. Nice little view there coming down the hill. We are almost to Quebec, not quite so. The Canadian Shield is uh, starting to give way a little bit to more of the lowlands, so there's some more uh, farmland around here. But uh, yeah, almost to Quebec. Next. Okay, on on to Quebec. I mean, uh, Enfin, and encore, new some uh, down the boucle 
Bouclier Canadien. Et on se proche de la ville de Rouen Noranda. Ça c'est une ville avec une industrie de l'exploitation minérale. Et de toute façon, prochaine! Une petite vidéo de Rouen Noranda. Oui. Prochaine! So I suppose I should actually do this in French, but uh, I'm getting kind of tired. So yeah, it, the sun's starting to go down again, so we'll get a quick shot here. We're coming up on Mont uh, Laurier. Uh, we're still, still, still in the Canadian Shield, but uh, then another couple hours we'll be dropping down into the uh, Great Lakes, St. Lawrence Lowlands. Not quite yet. Anyway, uh, yeah, there you go. That's what it looks like. That horrible rumbling you hear is the worst highway I've ever driven on. It's uh, Highway 117 that uh, comes down out of northern Quebec. Never, ever drive this highway. And I sure as hell will never do it again. Okay, next. I know you probably can't see much, but uh, we're coming into the uh, north end of Montreal. Laval, to be precise. We're about to make a turn off here, but uh, anyway, just a little nighttime shot for you. All right, Russian. Probably can't see me too well, but uh, here we are at uh, Cousin Jean Luc's in Trois Rivières. Well, Captain Madland, and uh, even parked a van. Decent. Okay, well, uh, this is this phase done, and we'll uh, we'll come back to you all the way into Nova Scotia. All right, bye. Okay, we've had a great uh, week here in Trois Rivières, but it is time to go. We'll uh, keep you updated along the trip here. All right, we'll talk to you in a little bit, I should say. Next. So we are about uh, well, a third of the way between Trois-Rivières and Quebec City. Uh, just give you a little view of what's the, the Great Lakes St. Lawrence lowlands here. Very, very lush farmland, lots of uh, minerals around here. Very, very good land. That's why they fought over it a lot. Anyway, just a little view of this valley here. Otherwise, uh, there's a lot of trees around the highway, hard to see. But uh, yeah, on our way to Quebec City, where we're across the uh, St. Lawrence and go down the South Shore. Next. Okay, we are about to go across the uh, Pierre Laporte Bridge, the La Pont Pierre Laporte. Going from uh, Quebec City on the North Shore over to the South Shore, La Rive Sud. So here you go. Let's see if we can not be behind the cement truck and get a view. Big, big bridge, big, big river. go we're across the St. Lawrence okay next we're working our way up the south shore here maybe uh, about 80 uh, clicks from Riviere de Loup and we'll make a, a hard right turn and scoot across to New Brunswick uh, so there you go oh and I have a powertrain light so hopefully we keep going anyway we'll see what we can do next Oh, and by the way, that's the St. Lawrence way over there on the left, and uh, much wider than uh, a part of here in Quebec. Okay, next. Here's a nice little view of uh, southern Quebec, eastern township type stuff. Uh, we are just north of Maine, actually, about, uh, uh, about 50 clicks uh, from the uh, New Brunswick border. And with my transmission light still. Alright, next. go my friends we are in just about in New Brunswick and in terms of landscape welcome to the northern Appalachians so here we go you should be able to start speaking English again well I have been speaking English and yeah I'm still analyzing what's going on with my transmission all right next 
this won't mean much to you guys, but uh, Perth Andover there, I uh, visited there way back in high school on a school trip, so it kind of need to be back in and around here. I mean, I've flown over here many, many times, but need to kind of be back around here on the ground. Anyway, that's all. Uh, deep inside New Brunswick now. We are uh, all about 120, 130 clicks into New Brunswick. All right, next. Oh yeah, I should mention, uh, for some strange reason, the uh, transmission light went out when I stopped the car and got gas. Uh, uh, there's gonna be a lessons learned video coming up here. I got more stuff about Ford Transit vans. Anyway, next. All right, we are close to the Fredericton Airport. We just passed that. I did lots of flying out of there to go over the Gagetown Range, which is uh, just uh, to the right of us now and uh, extended on south. We're about 150k out from Moncton and making our way across New Brunswick. As you can see, the Appalachian Mountains have given away to some rolling hills as we get closer to the coast here. That is all. Next. Okay, you're about to get your first glimpse of uh, eastern salt water. We're, uh, we're just out of Moncton going uh, into Sackville, the Nova Scotia here shortly, but you'll see on the, uh, well, coming up almost straight ahead, but then passing on the right up there, that's the Bay of Fundy. So there you go. Getting there, Atlantic Ocean. Cool. Yeah, holy crap. That's, it's been a long, long drive. <laughs> All right, next. And to make it official, I think we're just coming right into Nova Scotia right now. I'm sorry dealing with crazy traffic here. People just don't know how to merge. Anyway, all those windmills you see and all that's because we're kind of on the little isthmus that connects uh, New Brunswick to Nova Scotia between Sackville and Amherst. It's a really interesting little place. Uh, if you raise sea level about uh, 50 feet, this would all be underwater, part of the Bay of Fundy. Anyway. Uh, it's still got some sun, so that's nice, but uh, I gotta go. Next! Looks like uh, the sun's going down and light's going away, and uh, I'm about to pay a toll to uh, travel the highway here. Uh, we're almost to Truro in Nova Scotia. We're getting pretty darn close. Anyway, I'll, uh, you know, I'll give you a little bit more later on as we get there, but this is kind of your last view with some uh, daylight. Anyway, next! Just for fun, we'll show you what it's like at night driving the back roads of Nova Scotia going over to Grungy's place, which is like way in the middle of nowhere. Kind of fun. Anyway, almost there, I think. 40 more kilometers. Wish me luck. Next. We are so far out here in the middle of nowhere that <laughs> Grungy's coming to meet me. There's none of these roads are labeled and he's, uh, he's out there. So uh, we'll get the lead in here shortly. So we'll be there soon. All right, next. Well, by God, we made it. It's... uh. We're here at Grungy's place in uh, Nova Scotia, pretty much in the middle of nowhere. I'd, I'd let you take a look, but there's no light because it's just the moon and trailer and the van, etc., etc. Anyway, we made it, and uh, that's that. So 5,000 kilometers, uh, seven provinces, four time zones. Yeehaw. All right, we'll post as soon as we can. Talk to you soon, because lots of adventures coming up. All right.